This is a brief history of economist John R. Hicks. On April 8, 1904, Sir John Richard Hicks was born in Warwick, England in the United Kingdom. Hicks was considered one of the most important and influential economists of the 20th century. He went on to study at Clifton College and Oxford with the help of mathematical scholarships due to the fact that his parents were not financially well off. Hicks contributed to the field of economics in many ways. Some of his contributions included the ISLM model, the idea of the compensation test, and his book Value and Capital. The ISLM model states that the economy could be in equilibrium with less than full employment. It came from the Keynesian view called expansionary monetary policy. With the help of expansionary monetary policy, the money supply will increase, the interest rates will decrease, which will increase aggregate demand. The Federal Reserve operates today with expansionary monetary policy. John Hicks' second contribution, the compensation test, was a way to judge the impact of changes that occurred in government policy. According to Hicks, if those who gain could, in principle, compensate those who lose, even if they do not actually indirectly compensate them, then the change in policy would be efficient. What Hicks had in mind was having government policies be beneficial to society as a whole, which has much to do with macroeconomics, which is studying the economy as a whole. John Hicks' third contribution was his book Value and Capital. His book Value and Capital was published in 1939. It was one of the first published works on the subject of general equilibrium theory. The book also talks about value theory, which brings up the question, why do goods have value? Let's take diamonds, for example. The higher the price of a diamond, the more people want to buy diamonds. It seems to become the it thing to have, and everybody wants to be seen with expensive things. So in other words, the higher the price, the bigger the demand. After being knighted in 1964 and receiving the Nobel Prize in 1972, Hicks passed away at the age of 85 at his home in Blockley. Leading Swedish economist Bertland Onlund remembered Hicks as an important figure. Onlund was cited praising the work Hicks did for economics, stating, Hicks's theories have been important aiding government and industry to create improved economies, higher living standard, and increased employment.